1985, when America was gifted the little gray box known as the NES, Nintendo became a household name. Kids no longer played video games, they played Nintendo. And to further push their brand, they began marketing a variety of licensed products. From this day forward, these licensed products will be referred to as Nintendo, Nintendo Oddities. Oddities. Back in the late 80s and early 90s, if you were home alone and bored, there were three major sources of entertainment. There were toys, there were video games, and there was television. And two out of three of those were spent in front of the TV. And that's exactly why Marsh Allen created the TV Bed and Play Tray. And this TV tray must have been slightly rebranded at least three times because it was also called the TV Lap and Bed Tray and later on the child snack and play tray. And if there was a pop figure or cartoon that you liked, they probably made a tray for this. They made Care Bears, He-Man, Rainbow Bright, Transformers, Wuzzles, Alf, Pound Puppies, Popples, Mr. T, E.T., and even in the early 90s they had X-Men and Power Rangers. If there was a TV show you liked, there was a tray to match it. And just like many of you, I actually owned one of these trays as a child. I had the Batman tray from the 1989 Batman movie. But today, for this Nintendo oddity, we're gonna check out the Marsh Allen tray made by Nintendo. So the first thing you'll probably notice about this tray is it has some really strange artwork, which was par for the course for Nintendo artwork back in the late 80s. So I did some research and I actually found out from this volume of Nintendo Power that the artwork is actually concept art for the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. You can actually see the same artwork shown right here on page 93, except there are some subtle differences. I'll show you what those are though. But first, let's take a more detailed look at this beautiful tray. First off, you can see that this was licensed in 1989 by Nintendo of America. So the first thing I always notice when I look at this tray is Bowser. Look at him, he looks so weird and creepy. What's wrong with his eyes? Why is he drooling? He just looks not refined. The second thing I always notice is why is Mario standing on a Nintendo Advantage? Why is that in the middle of his house? And why is it so huge? And here we have Luigi just running down the stairs. He's pointing up at Bowser as if to say, look out Mario, he's right behind you. Here's this weird creepy turtle. I don't know if he's supposed to be a Koopa or what. If you look up here, you'll see what appears to be one of Mario and Luigi's ancestors. One of the other things that stands out to me are all these weird little mushroom characters. Look at this guy. And this guy. And this guy. And why does this Goomba have hands? I've never seen a Goomba with hands before. Here's a mad flower pot. And here's a star trying to make a phone call. <laughs> That's so weird. But hands down, the weirdest part of this picture is this thing. <laughs> what is that? It looks like a woman looking out of a lampshade but there's no lamp attached. That is literally the weirdest thing on here. I have no clue what that is. Now that we've looked at that, let's look at the concept art in the Nintendo Power. So the four subtle differences that I notice between the tray and the concept art are number one, the weird lamp lady is up in the top left corner now. Number two, Luigi is off the stairs and somehow floating around Bowser's hand. Number three, the stars are in the top left corner instead of down on the floor. And number four, there's no antenna on the television. Why did they make these changes? Was it necessary? Who knows? Well guys, I hope you had fun checking out this TV tray made by Marsh Allen and licensed by Nintendo. As always, I'm glad that it's one of Nintendo's oddities. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment below about what TV tray you had as a kid or what you thought was cool about this TV tray. Also, don't forget to subscribe to see more Nintendo oddities. And as always, and until next time, thanks for watching and take care.